morning. My name is Bing Chen Lai, and I come from the National Taiwan University. And today I'm going to present detecting carcass detect detecting carcass defect of native chicken using convolutional neural networks. And my advisor is Dr. Lin Dubo. And this is the outline of today's presentation. And first I will introduce the industrial background and objective. And next is the material method and as this the conclusion. And first let's go to the introduction. And chicken is one of the most important species in Taiwan animal husbandry. And according to the annual statistical report in Taiwan, the 434 million chicken were produced in 2021. And the production value reached the 53 billion island barriers. And it accounts for 28% of all animal production value. And in the chart below shows that the production value is growing year by year since 2019. And next, I want to introduce the two types of the chicken, the native chicken and the royal animal. The first is Taiwan native chicken. And the Taiwan native chicken is an endemic species with variety of the breed, and like the red feather native chicken and golden chicken, etc. And in different breeds, they have substantial difference in size and color. And it looks like a picture at the left side. And next is the broiler. And the broiler is specific grace for the meat industry. So the breed of the broiler is unitary. And the broiler is similar in size and color, and it looks all white, and like the right, right side picture. And no matter what type of the chicken in the slaughter process, it will face some problem. The def defect carcass were discovered at the production line occasionally. And the main def defect problem include the tear, bruise, bio pollution, and skin defection. And the main defect part include the chicken breast, back, wing, and neck. And the reason of the defect is, is because the chicken bite between each other, so it causes the bruise and skin defection. And then the workers mishandling during the slaughter process, so it causes the tear and bite pollution. And to pick out the defect carcass, the industry used the grading system. And the commercial exist the existing commercial grading system can grade in two parts: the weight grading and the image recognition grading. And the weight grading standard is the heavier the better. And the image recognition grading standard is the less defect can have the better grading. But the existing commercial grading system is unitary standard, and the system just designed for the boiler, which is similar in size and color. And due to the variety body size of the native chicken, so the native chicken are hung by the head in the production line, like the right side picture. And different from the broiler, they hung by the feet. So it caused the rotation problem. And the picture below shows the rotation problem. The native chicken can rotate in arbitrary angle, but the existing Existing system for the broiler can only recommend the chicken at the basis angle, so the existing system is not fit for the broiler. So currently, the native chicken slaughter have only really the native chicken by the grid, and the current approach to pick out the defect carcass is through the manual work. But the manual work is subjective, and the second is the industry is short handed, so it is hard to hire the new workers. So the objective of the research is to develop a deep learning method to replace the manual labor. And this system has two goals. The first goal is to build an image acquisition model at the production line. And the second is to develop a grading system for a native chicken. <coughs> and the system can distinguish different body parts at arbitrary angle and identify the deeper carcass. And this is the material method. At least my system pipeline. And first, the image will capture through the image acquisition module, and then input the image to the two stage deep learning model. And the first model can detect the body part, and the second model can classify the body part as the defective class or the normal class. And the image acquisition module is composed of the Raspberry Pi form, an industrial camera, 8 millimeter lens an infrared beam, photoelectric detector, and water light cases. 
And then I set the camera in front of the carcass, like the schematic diagram at the right side. Then capture the two side images. And these two images were the stem carcass and two side images. And three, three of the native chicken carcass images were acquired, include the red feather native chicken, black feather native chicken, and golden chicken. And the shutter speed of the camera is set to the 1 over 400 second, and the image resolution is 800 to 1500 pixels. In the body pouch segmentation model, I used the Yolo B7. And the Yolo B7 can architecture can split into three parts the backbone, neck, and head. And the backbone used the E lens as the visual extractor. And the neck used the PNFPM. It can use the different scale result from the backbone and describe the more detailed feature. And the head used the repairing toy convolution and yellow head. We can predict the bonding bus and categories. In the data preparation for the yellow V-selling, I used the three breeds of native chicken images, include the red red native chicken, black red native chicken, and golden chicken. And the ratio of the data is one to one to one. And then I manually annotate it into the four categories. Include the wing, back, back, and breast. And there are 450 images in total, and 260 for training and 90 for test. And this is the training detail of the below visual model. And next is the BPET classification model. And the model I use the ResNet V2 101 S1 BITM model. And the model is composed of the multiple convolutional blocks and one mass pool layer, one global average pool layer, and one body content layer. And there are 101 there in total. And the data exploration for the ResNet V2 101 S1 BITM model, I cropped the body part, detect from the yellow visible model, and then do a zero padding to square. And then I manually annotate it into the two classes, include the normal class and defective class. And the ratio of the data is one to one. And there are 1,760 images in total. And 1,500 images is for training and 160 is for test. And these are the training details of the resident model. Yeah. Ready. And this is the result and conclusion. And first is the result of the yellow V7 model. And MAP is an indicator of the how good the object detection model is, and the model achieved a 98.9% MAP. And in each classes, the AP can exceed the 98%. And this page shows the result of the four real cases. And you can see the point picture. And the carpet is based tower to the camera in arbitrary angle, but the model can still detect the body point correctly. Yeah, but the model can still make some mistake in some situation. And for example, in the case one, on the left picture, and the chicken wing twist together, so the model cannot recognize the wing. And in the case two, the right side picture, and the carcass is occluded by the quick <coughs> carcass, so leading to the recognition error. And next is the result of the ResNet V2 analyzed from BRTN model. And the model achieved the overall accuracy of 96.8%. And in the conclusion metric shows that the defective crisis accuracy is 98%, and the normal class accuracy is 96%. And now we use the we came to visualize the model performance. As in, this data shows the result of the three real cases. And in case one, there has the tear problem on the breast. And in case two, there has the skin depression problem at the bottom of the images. And in the third case, the, there has the bridge problem on the grass. But the working at the below shows that the model can detect the feedback part correctly. And this data shows the better case of the resident model. And in case one, there is the defect of it on the chicken wing, but the defect was small, so the model recognized as the normal class. And in case two, the color of the defective part was dark, and it closely matched to the background color, so the model recognized it as the normal class. 
and in case, case three, the skin surface was contaminated with the blood clot, so which is similar to the bruise problem so the model predicts wrong. Model predicts the, this feature as the defective class. And to stop the misclassification problem, and I think it is necessary to increase the number of the training image that encompass the various type of the defect condition. And so my conclusion is, we did develop a defect classification for a three breed of the native chicken. And the yellow B7 model achieved 98.9% MAP for identifying the body part. And the ResNet v 2 x one model achieved 96.9% accuracy for classifying the defective body parts. And the proposed approach is back to reduce the labor requirement and enable the low cost income and improve the efficiency of the slaughter process and increase the economy value of the slaughter industry. And my official word is to increase the defective body parts data to increase the robustness of the model. And then to develop a neural model to distinguish more category of the native chicken. And this is the end of um, my presentation. And thank you for listening. <laughs> I was a grown with living leader, so I always had an and I'm waiting. It gave me quite clear reason why you need grass nest for the first in case of the OZB called very soon, or the Acrobeco. Yeah, I compared to the like, uh, the common classification model like the rest net, like the division net, or other, because, and because I chose the rest net is because, uh, the, um, sorry. I think it is, oh, sorry, I think it is the BITM, BITM is a special, uh, special method to in, improve the model performance. And this BITM is proposed by the Google team and it can increase, improve the model performance about the three to five percent. So I choose the best thing. Yep. Yep. Done. You said you got like 400 something images in your data set. How much did you split between training and testing? Okay, I um, borrowed the 50 images and I choose the ratio of 4 to 1 and 360 is for training and then you break it head. Yeah. We can have all questions. So, you know, when you still get so yeah. the defect uh, super class, right? So, how many kind of defects we have? Yeah, and right now we just have the four main defect problem, including the tier first five function and steam deflection. And I just put them into one class is because right now our data is not much enough, so I just put them together. So I remember the class that I could say that it's a it's also the support. Yeah. Uh, you think so I'm not, I'm not, I, right now I don't I don't do the different bit of it. So very good. And also I think on top of that, do you also have plan to add because you sort you have different grades based on how much uh, defect is there, right? A, B and C, I think. Do you also have plans to kind of improve it based on how much defect is there to classify to different grades? You say I can split into a different defective classes or? Uh, no, I think in the first slide you saw it based on the amount of defect that are grade A, B, and C of the chicken, right? Uh, sorry, you say A, B, then. It is this. Yeah, this problem. No. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, right now we just do the defective and the normal. We haven't do the rating to A for B A's. So do but do you have plans to add that picture? Yeah, if we increase more data we, we want to do the we want to do the rating then. So the chicken her cast as in the sheen thought they need to get me chicken better. Also the AV motion is a speed with this. We hope the other cast cast that should be right. Yes. Yeah, I I don't know. I just test the 
shot us be with the back end caption and our list. And I read. And you know, see him passing him on TV to turn one, some quads, like a one with CT first for knees. I'm in a map of, yeah, this is what he does. Maybe he's just sitting in all the area of a dog, what is my speed? Set on. You say you need to do it to the win? He made it for a partner with a lot of wine, a few bros, he can hear us about And then that's the job is. I think if we have a good, good hardware and the speed I think if we have the good, good hardware and radio in hand, we can do it. Yeah, we can, we can. So, do it. And the second speed. I don't know the sure it's a DI. It's a station issue. Is it a first station already for the region? Only like. I mean, the first is where is the height that other shackle is in station, is used a stationary or moving? And the movie. And movie? Yeah. Okay. So, and right in the speed? This speed. You don't have no idea. You have no idea of the speed. Yeah, I don't have no idea. Or they can check that for this. Okay, okay thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.